How do you create a data table? In this case, we're going to look at one variable and two variable data tables. Data tables are used as a form of what if analysis, where if you want to change one variable in a formula, it will show you how it will affect other values that rely on that formula. The same for the two variable data table, you would change two variables and their, their values in the formula in order to see how that will affect another value. In this case, we have the mortgage loan example, and we're going to look at how changing different values and variables will affect the monthly payment amount. In the one variable data table, we're going to change the percentage rate, the annual percentage rate, to see how it will affect the amount of the monthly payment, the total cost of the loan, and the total interest on the loan. Let's look at our formula here for the monthly payment. We want to see how that's going to be affected by these changes. The monthly payment formula relies on B9, which is the percentage rate, B10, the number of years to pay, and B8, which is the amount of the loan. B8 relies on B6, the original cost of the home, and B7. And the cost of the home relies on the number of years to pay, the number of payments, and the monthly payment. And the interest also relies on the amount of the loan as well as the total cost of the home. So you can see how those references or the, the references in the formulas kind of point to each other. And that's important because if you're going to change values, the formulas need to point to the other values in order to be able to change those. So these are uh, the input values. And what we'll do in the first example is substitute these values for the interest rate as the monthly payment is calculated. So we'll see how that will affect the original monthly payment amount as well as the total cost of the home and the total in interest that you would pay on the loan. In order to do so, I already have my interest rates here, and I'm going to insert my uh, starting values. I'll start with the original monthly payment, which is here, and then I will enter the original total cost and the original total interest. I'm just going to refer to those cells. Let's highlight the data and we're going to go to data, what if analysis, and data table. So let's create the data table. We're going to tell it which is our input cell. The input cell is what value do you want to change in order to see the effect of that change on other variables. So we're going to change the interest rate to see how that affects these other uh, variable values. We choose either row or column. In this case, our interest rates here are in a column, so that will be the column input cell. Now, we have to use the original cell here, the 3%, because what it will do as it calculates the monthly payment, it's going to go in and substitute each of these values when it runs the monthly payment formula and change the interest rate from 3% to 3.25% and so on until it gets down to the 5%. All right, so we refer back to the original annual interest rate there, click on OK, and it gives us the data table. The uh, numbers, obviously, as the interest rate increases, the, the payment cost and interest rates also, or interest amounts, also increase with that uh, annual interest rate. Let's look at the two variable data table. In this case, we have our interest rate again, and I've gone up to 7%. And we're going to substitute that in our um, monthly payment formula as our input. And we also have a second variable that we want to enter into the mix, and that's the cost of the home. So we're going to say, if our interest rate changes based on these, and we are 
going to see the uh, difference in the value of the home. Let's start with our 200,000 and then we'll go to 225 and 250. Oops. Okay, so it's going to insert this uh, as the cost of the home and these as the interest rate and it will um, change both of those variables in order to see the monthly payment. So it will display the monthly payment amounts here. What I'll do is enter the, month, the current monthly payment here so it knows to pull from that value. We'll highlight the table. In this case, we have two variables, so we will enter something here. We already know this is in a column, so our interest rate is going to be the column input. The cost of the home is in a row going across, so we're going to point back to that original one so that it can um, revert back to uh, changing the values in the formulas. And we'll click on OK. It provides the amount of the uh, monthly payment here based on the change of the cost of the home as well as the interest rate. And I can double check here since these numbers should be the same as these, since the original cost of the home was 200,000. So you can see the difference if you pay 200,000 versus 225 or 250 for the home at each of those interest rates.